Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to install FOSS server on your system. In my previous video, I have already shown you how to create bootable pen drive of FOSS server. In this video, I am going to use that bootable pen drive. So, if you have not created bootable pen drive, first create bootable uh, pen drive of FOSS server. The link of video I have given in description box as well as you can click on I button to watch that video. Let's start the video. So guys here I have attached my pen drive to my PC and let me quickly power on my PC. So guys it has shown me this screen which is nothing but force installer. So let's select first option and hit enter guys. Now here again simply hit enter. Now guys the process has been started and it's asking me do you want to start the installation? So I am typing yes and I am hitting enter. And here guys in the node type simply type 1 that is demo system. And here you need to type SDA. You can see the option has been provided in that I am taking the first option SDA. And now guys here type yes again. Here it's showing me that the data will be lost. So if it is okay for you you can just type yes. So I am typing yes. So guys now again it will take a while so please wait for it and guys here you need to enter ethernet name. So whatever name has been shown on your screen simply type that name. So for me it is ENP1S0. I have just typed the name which has been shown on my screen and now guys here it is showing me whether you want DHCP. Yes I want so I am simply typing yes. And now guys the last step it is asking me to reboot. Yes so I want to reboot so simply type yes. And guys after this you need to remove your PD. Okay so as soon as you remove your PD guys it is going to restart or reboot your machine. So guys here my PC has been restarted and here now you can see I am getting this screen that is force cloud and force cloud without frame buffer so select the first option force cloud and guys here you can see it's showing some messages so let it complete okay so guys this process is going to take a while so again please wait for it and boom guys you can see now here it's showing me force cloud and it's showing me the IP address and user ID and password of root as well as it is showing me user ID and password whenever you are trying to access through web browser. Okay, so you can take photo of this whatever you get on your screen just take photo of that. So user ID and password for root is what root and password is admin and if you log in through web the user ID is admin and password is admin and uh, URL is nothing but the IP address which has been given. Now guys to configure this node you have to simply type this command this is very important command command is fc minus node minus configuration then provide a space guys and put minus n and after that again provide a space and demo minus system and guys again provide a space and two times minus and then password and then admin and hit enter guys so you can see the configuration has been started and boom guys it's showing me message that congratulations you have finished the installation and configuration of the node so my force server is ready now now i can use this force server on other system so if you have not taken screenshot or photo of the ip address which has been shown so you can just type if config command to get the IP address so here I am typing the command and my IP address is 192.168.21.28 so this IP address now I am going to access on some other machine so here I am having windows machine the force server is what console based it is SSH based so here now I have come to my some other machine and I am simply typing the IP address which was shown over there so here now after typing IP address I am getting this um, screen and here I need to type user ID and password so just type user ID as admin and password as admin and boom guys now you can see force cloud page
so this completes installation of your FOSS server now in my next video I will be showing you how you can create virtual machine on this FOSS server so guys if you really like this video do hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box I will surely reply to your queries and guys if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this and don't forget to hit bell icon guys guys I'm there on all social media media I have shared the link in my description box I am sharing lots of PDF notes related to computer science and IT on my telegram you can join my telegram the link is in description box thank you guys for watching my video till end I will see you in my next video till that bye bye take care and keep learning guys